You're watching Screw It on Supple Wine. I'm your host, Mike Supple. 2010 is upon us, and I hope everybody had a fun and safe New Year's Eve. I know I did. Now, New Year's mean new projects, so I picked up a home winemaking kit. So over the next couple of months, I'm going to show regular video updates here, making my wine. I've never done this before. I'm obviously part of the industry that I'm really interested in. wanted to see what it's all about. Now, while this is on a micro scale, it's different from people doing it in a massive winery, this still will give me a taste and therefore give you a taste of what it's like to actually make wine. If this is something that you're interested in being involved in more than just a viewer and seeing how I do it, there are plenty of websites so you can pick up your own kits. They generally cost around $180, and that includes almost everything you'll need. The only thing that that doesn't include is the empty bottles to bottle your wine, but everything else will be included for that, around $180 or so dollars for the kit. There are several different websites to get you started if you don't have a local uh, home brewing place around you. I recommend checking out homebrewers.com, vintnersharvest.com, or uselitemicrowinery.com, or just Google home winemaking kit. See what you find there. What does $180 get you? I ended up getting my entire kit from Costco, and for the equipment, they included the Vintner's Harvest set right here. And for the wine, they went with U.S. Elite Cabernet Sauvignon. This is concentrated grape juice. In terms of equipment, we have our 8-gallon fermenter. And in the lid on that fermenter, of course, have an airlock hole. It's very important. Don't, can't just use any old bucket. You need that airlock hole in there. We also have our six gallon carboy. Have the Italian double lever corker to put the corks in the bottles. Got a bag of clean synthetic corks. Got a tube for filling the bottles. I have about four feet of tube for siphoning. A thermometer, rubber stopper, an airlock, a wax and shot hydrometer, and a siphon. And I'll explain how we use all of these in the upcoming weeks as we go through the process. And of course we have our concentrated Cabernet juice and the various additives we'll be putting in the wine for stabilizing, for fermenting, for clarifying, and for adding oak flavors and some tannins. And I'll of course describe each of these in more detail as they are used during the winemaking process. $180 might sound like a lot of money for this all up front, but when you break it down, in the end you're going to be making about 30 bottles of wine. That breaks down to about $6 a bottle. If this wine's any good, that's not a bad price at all. Of course, the wine can only be as good as the quality of the juice that you start with, so we'll see how that goes. So that's the whole shebang. The instructions seem fairly easy to follow, so I'm going to keep my fingers crossed, and hopefully in about a couple of months from now, I'll have 30 bottles of wine to try out. And if any of you out there decide to jump in the game and get your own kit, let me know. I'd love to swap stories and maybe even swap some bottles. When we're all done, I'm going to do a blind tasting and buy several different Cabernets in the same price point, put them up against my wine, not just me, I'll have other people taste, and we'll see what it tastes like. Nothing personal against me, I didn't grow the grapes, so I don't care. If it's good, I want to know. If it's bad, let me waste my money before you go ahead and try it out on your own.